Husqvarna Viking is known for their sewing advisor. And on this machine, you'll find those buttons right here along the side. Your first column is labeled with A, B, C, and all the way to G. And these are pictures of fabric. So we can tell the machine what weight of fabric, if it's a woven or a stretchy fabric, and then tell it what we're doing on that fabric, and it will pick the right stitch. It's pretty nice. It'll tell us if we need to change any settings on the machine and be, so it turns out perfect. So for example, you'll notice that the machine right now is set on B. When you're not using the sewing advisor, I want you to make sure that it always says B. When you do go ahead and select a different setting, like let's say you're working on fleece, down here at F is what's called a stretch heavy setting. So D, E, and F, one's a lightweight knit or stretch, a medium weight stretch and a heavy stretch. But when I turn off the machine and turn it back on, it will remember the last fabric that you were working on, which means that the settings will be different, uh, everything will be associated with that fabric. So always leave it on B until you're not, you, until you go using it other places. Trust me on that, it makes life a lot easier. So lightweight fabric for a woven, like a silk or a satin, Okay, and notice when I do that and I pick a seam, which is technique number one, A1, it makes the stitch length for a straight stitch much shorter. Now when I pick, like let's say I was working on a denim and I picked fabric C, kind of a heavy weight woven fabric, the stitch length goes to three. Also my needle recommendation goes to a higher number, size 90, it's very nice. And the tension has changed a little bit. Does that change? Yep, a little tension change. It was a little bit higher than normal and internally that tension is automatically set. And that's another reason why you don't wanna leave it on one of these other numbers where B is more of a standard setting. So also too, let's say we are still on a seam and now we get down to a stretchy fabric. We don't wanna use a straight stitch on a stretch fabric. It will automatically pick stitch number two, which is the stretch straight stitch. And it recommends a stretch needle. The tension is slightly reduced. The needle position is moved, so it's slightly over to the side here and it's all ready to go. You will find different stitches for different uh, fabric. So depending on what settings or what fabric you pick, you'll get different settings, different recommendation. And the other one right here is actually your pressure foot pressure. Now this will be a manual change for you and you'll find it right here on the side of the machine. Most of the time it'll say in for normal, but for stretchy fabrics, have you ever had stretchy fabrics come out wavy? Well, by taking and going to the number it recommends, which was one, now the foot is not gonna come down as heavy on the fabric. It's gonna come down a little bit looser, more gentle, and it'll kind of glide across instead of pressing and stretching and making it kind of be wavy when it's all said and done. So definitely follow all the recommendations and of course make sure that you get it back to kind of normal when you are done. So I'm gonna turn that back to normal. And if I was going back to kind of B setting and straight stitch, then obviously everything kind of goes back to normal there. Let me go through the other techniques that you have. So technique number two is actually an overcast. And notice that it recommends an overlock foot or an overcast foot J. That's one of the ones that came with our machine here. Uh, Technique number three is an overcast and seam. And watch, that stitch will change based on, and the foot changes, based on which fabric I've actually selected. So definitely just let the machine help you out here. Uh, technique number four is a basting stitch. So it's gonna be a long stitch length, a loose intention, so it'll come out really easy. And again, that will be slightly different based on which fabric you actually select. Technique number five is a blind hem. And so sometimes people can't remember where the blind hem stitch is. So if you just use the sewing advisor, it'll go right to the right stitch, tell you which foot you're on, adjust the tension as normal, and set everything up. And then also too, if you picked a stretchy fabric, it'll, it will definitely select a stretch blind hem for you. Number six is a hem. So again, depending on what fabric you're working on, it'll have a different stitch recommended. And the last one is a buttonhole. You'll notice up at the top of your machine, you actually have quite a few different buttonholes. So how would you know which one to do on a different fabric? So it'll actually change or recommend different settings for stabilizer, such as a corded buttonhole, which we'll show you, 
uh, let's see here, even what would we do on leather? Leather, we don't want to really stitch a buttonhole or perforate it, so it actually recommends the straight stitch buttonhole for that. Again, when you're done, go back to, to tech, fabric B, a nice woven medium, and if you want to get back to a straight stitch, the easiest one to do is actually just touch technique number one, a straight stitch. So use the sewing advisor, and remember, it will always help you pick the right stitch, the right foot, the right tension, the right <laughs> needle, the right pressure, and make sure that you're always coming out perfect.